Greetings, I'm Simone Sanders Townsend, in for Stephanie Rule. As the former president fights multiple legal battles, there is a big development in Jack Smith's classified documents case. Trump and aides Walt Nada and Carlos de Oliveira are facing multiple charges in that case, including obstruction. Today, the special counsel revealed a key witness, who is a Trump employee, has retracted his earlier false testimony about efforts to delete security footage. And he's given prosecutors new information implicating Trump and his co-defendants. This comes from a new court filing, which also says the witness no longer has a lawyer paid for by Trump's Save America PAC. This is how you get cooperating witnesses. Here, with independent counsel, you have somebody who has flipped and is clearly an insider saying um, what it is that the three charged defendants, that is Mr. Trump, Mr. Nauda, and Mr. de Oliveira, did in connection with the obstruction scheme. This is how you make a case. Also today, Trump's co-defendants in the Georgia election interference case are starting to surrender, and their mugshots were just released. The first to be booked was Scott Hall. He's charged in connection with efforts to gain access to voting machines. The second was former Trump lawyer John Eastman, one of the alleged architects of the scheme to keep Trump in power after losing the 2020 election. Do you still think the election was stolen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Still. No question. No so, question in my mind. Did they do a mugshot and everything inside? No comment. Donald Trump has said he will surrender Thursday. We've also just learned that Rudy Giuliani is planning to travel to Atlanta tomorrow. He's still looking for local attorneys, but has no set plans to surrender. DA Fonnie Willis has given all 19 defendants until Friday at noon to turn themselves in. But one defendant, former Trump chief of staff Mark Meadows, has asked a federal judge to immediately block his arrest before a hearing on Monday to move his case to federal court. That judge told Bonnie Willis to respond by tomorrow afternoon. Now, Willis has already rejected Meadows' efforts to extend the Friday deadline. This morning, she sent an email to his lawyer saying, I am not granting any extensions. I gave two weeks for people to surrender themselves to the court. Your client is no different than any other criminal defendant in this jurisdiction. At 12.30 p.m. on Friday, I shall file warrants in the system.